Our friend Amy is really ready to struggle with us this week. Yesterday, she said, I am a victim of forces beyond my control. The teacher said, stop being silly, Amy. We have work to do. We said, let's be scientific about this. Is Amy really a victim of forces? Are there actually scientific causes for what's happening? Who knows? Let's place some hidden cameras around campus to see if we can catch these so-called forces in action. We'll get to the bottom of this. If we can catch these accidents on camera and analyze them, I'll bet we can figure this out using science. Oh look, we're getting something on camera three. Let's watch. To begin with, let's be clear on what a force is. A force is a push or a pull. A pull is a force moving towards you. A push is a force moving away from you. Can we all see the problem here? Why won't you just pull the door? Now she's got it. Once she figured out the right direction to apply the force in, she did just fine. Wow, she really had to pull on that door hard. It's really thick. That reminds me, the more mass an object has, the more force it takes to get it moving. Oh look, Amy's having issues with forces again. It looks like someone spilled their water bottle in the hallway. She's slipping all over the place. Freeze camera nine, please. Let's zoom in and see what's happening. Activate force analysis mode. That water has reduced the amount of friction between Amy's shoes and the floor. That loss of friction makes Amy slip and slide. Oopsie, down she goes. See, I am a victim of forces. Is she? Yes, friction is another kind of force. And the loss of friction caused by a careless filler did cause Amy's fall. Amy finally made it to class, but she can't find her new pencil. It looks like it's falling onto the floor. Forces? Again? Already? Maybe not. Amy has spotted her pencil. Uh-oh, freeze camera five, please. Let's zoom in and see what's happening now. Activate force analysis mode. So the culprit here is gravity. Amy leaned over too far, which made her lose her balance. Gravity caused her to fall to the floor, along with her missing pencil. See, I am a victim of forces. Is she? Yes, gravity is another kind of force. And when Amy leaned too far, the pull of gravity on her overcame her push that was keeping her in her seat. Oh no, the class is heading out for recess and they are going to the playground. Be alert people, we have the potential for a disaster here. Let's see, uh, this student is a perfect example of Isaac Newton's first law of motion. The law states that a body at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by another unbalanced force. Looks like this kid isn't going anywhere anytime soon. How relaxing. Now, where did Amy get to? I'm worried about her and her force problems. Wait, is that her on the zip line? What is she thinking? Red alert, activate camera two. This could be it, people. Activate force analysis mode. When Amy's friend pushes her, watch her acceleration. Her acceleration means her speed and direction. It depends on her mass and the amount of force her friend applies. We might be okay. I don't see any danger here. But imagine if instead of a friend, Miss Matthewson pushed Amy on the zip line. That's a lot more force. More force means faster acceleration. She's really gonna fly. Hang on, Amy. The stronger the force that is applied, the greater the motion will be. Aw, that went so great. Look, she's just gliding along. I should have known better. Miss Matthewson wouldn't have sent her flying too fast. She used the perfect push to send Amy gliding right to the end of the zip line. Check out what happens when the zip line handle hits the bumper at the end of the zip line. Let's hit the super slow motion button and watch what happens next. Watch how Amy's feet and legs swing forward. That's because of inertia. Right, it goes back to Newton's first law of motion. 
we saw the student reading. A great example of an object staying at rest unless another force acted on it. The same is true for an object in motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless another force acts on it. She got a great push to start her moving. And even when Amy's hands stop moving, the lower half of her is still moving forward until a new force acts on her. Gravity. When gravity overcomes the push that started her moving, Amy's feet swing back down and then she's ready to stick the landing. We've seen lots of forces affecting Amy today. Right. Pushes, pulls, friction, gravity, inertia, phew. I think she might rewrite. That is a lot. See, I am a victim of forces, but aren't we all?